Hi everyone, today we're doing a special yoga class. This is a class that's gonna keep us off of the ground today. So we're going to be doing a lot in the chair and also at a wall, okay? We'll be on our feet for part of the time, um, but this class is gonna be really nice for folks who are just kind of trying to work on their balance, um, who aren't feeling super stable, you know, trying these postures away from some kind of support like a wall or a chair. So make sure that you have those available. Um, I'm gonna have you, since we're not gonna be on our mat today, I am gonna ask you to go ahead and actually wear your sneakers. So something that has some grip under your feet. Um, if you're on a hard surface, you'll have more stability than if you're on carpeting. So if you have a choice, I would encourage you to go towards that harder surface. And um, my chair today, I am using a harder chair, but I decided to cushion it a little bit just by using some towels to give myself um, something a little bit softer to sit on that'll feel nice. So um, let's head over to our chairs and we're gonna start there just with some breath work coming into our breath. sit um, away from the back of your chair, okay? And you should feel nice and supported here. So the majority of my seat, myself, um, is on the chair. But again, just taking my back away from that backrest. And I'm gonna let my hands come onto my legs. My knees are just bent about 90 degrees here. My feet are flat on the ground. I'm just gonna close my eyes and start to pay some attention to those points of contact. Just recognizing the way that my body connects with the supports that are underneath it. So feeling the floor under my feet relaxing my toes and just lift your toes we're gonna go in a very small motion kind of lift the toes one side and then the other here and then let's set them both back down feet flat on the floor we'll do the opposite of that so you're gonna lift one heel at a time away from the floor and as you do, I want you to think of rolling up onto the ball of your foot, but not really your toes. Toes are just kind of there and along for the ride. They're relaxed, not gripping, not straining. Let's lift both heels at the same time away from the floor. And now slowly float your heels back down to connect with the earth. And we still have our eyes closed. We're just gonna start making our way up the body now. And so you're already feeling grounded into your feet. Relaxed toes. Start to bring awareness into the sensations in the lower part of your leg, into your calf muscles that area underneath the back of your knees. Start to bring awareness into the way that your seat connects with your chair. Feel yourself supported on your seat. That solid foundation here, you're supported and not going anywhere. And start bringing awareness into your internal support, into your center line. Take a deep breath into your belly. Open your mouth and exhale. It's 
stay with this kind of breath, full deep breaths in and forcefully exhaling every time. And think of the center, that center core area around your belly as an internal support. This is a place where you can stay kind of internally lifted and engaged. Think about staying strong through your midline and through your midsection throughout this practice. And staying with your breath, begin to shift awareness towards your chest. Feel your chest expand when you inhale. Open your mouth and exhale. Staying with your breath, let's shift awareness to the shoulders and let's just make a small motion lifting them up a little bit and then sending them back and setting them down let the crown of your head lift high find length in your neck here and we'll start opening the eyes a very small motion and slowly just turn your head from left to right and you don't need to turn as far as you're able to I want you to just start with these small and give your time give I your eyes time to follow that movement so that's something that's really important to helping you to balance is allowing your eyes to have a focal point giving yourself time to adjust as you move. So moving slowly and with a focus will help you. And let's turn to look over the left shoulder now. And I just want you to turn enough so that you start feeling stretch through the opposite side of your neck here. And we're just gonna hold right there, deep breath in, fill up your lungs. And exhale completely. Let's come back slowly, come through that center line. We'll turn to look over the other shoulder now. I'm going just until you feel that stretch starting along the opposite outside of your neck. Let's hold it right here, keeping space between the chin and the shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Carefully come back through center. Let's inhale, bring both shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, set them down. Think nice, tall, long neck. Let's reach the right hand down to the floor and tilt your head over towards the opposite shoulder. So we feel that lengthening again here through the right side of the neck. Take one more breath in. Exhale, let it all out. Place that hand back on the knee, come back to center. I want you to pick a point in front of you, okay? And just keep your eyes on that point. Tuck your chin down to your chest. So you're gonna go wide eyes so you can keep a look at that point. And then lift your chin, keep your eyes on that point. And do that again. Lowering your chin, lengthening the back of the neck. And then lifting the chin, finding some length through the front of the neck. Come back to center. Let's reach down through the left hand. Tilt the head over to the right now. 
Just feeling that space, that lengthening open up through the left side of the neck. And we're gonna hold it right here. And stay with those deep, slow breaths. Deep breath in. And let it out. Carefully come back to that midline. And I want you to start bringing your chin down. You're gonna look towards the center of your thighs here. And let your chin press right onto your chest. And I want you to think about rolling the shoulders forward a little bit right here. So we're opening up, creating space in the upper back, stretching between the shoulder blades, and again, lengthening through the back of the neck. Deep breath in and let it out. And let's come back forward. So here I'm going to have you bring your fingers in front of your knees. Bend the elbows a little bit. Bring your heart forward. Draw the shoulders back and lift the chin. So we're creating just an arch in the opposite direction here. The gaze is slightly lifted. We'll take a few breaths here. And we're getting ready to move between these two. Okay, so we'll move with our breath. And I want you to give yourself time to slowly shift your gaze as we move between the two. Let's take a deep breath in here, still gazing up. Exhale, start to tuck the chin, looking towards the center of your thighs. Roll the shoulders slightly forward. And then inhale, start lifting your gaze. Bring the head up, bring the chest forward, bring the chin forward. And then flip it again, exhale slowly, curving back in the other direction, chin comes down, gaze goes down, and come forward again. We'll inhale, drawing shoulders back, lift the chin, bring the heart forward, and exhale, tuck chin to chest, separate the shoulders, let that C curve come into your spine. Last time here, inhale. Exhale, sit back, C curve the spine. And let's come back up to sit tall, okay? We're just gonna let the hands hang down at sides now. Small circles, let's lift the shoulders up, send them back and set them down. We'll do that with a full breath in as the shoulders lift and out as the shoulders come back and down. Do that two more times, deep breath in and let it out. One more time, deep breath in and let it out. We're gonna make this a lot bigger actually. So reach forward, bring hands straight out from shoulders. Sit up tall here so we're still away from the back of the seat. And open the arms up. And then reach them back forward. And you can do that with straight arms, okay, like this. Or if you'd like to you can open up the arms with bent elbows right here. And you're just going far enough in either one, whichever you choose, to feel that stretching as you open through the front of the chest and the shoulder. Open up. Reach forward. One last time here. We're gonna hold it this time. So elbows bent or reaching with long arms. Stay with your breath and carefully 
release down. Lift the shoulders up, up and back. One more time here. So we're gonna take a gentle twist and you'll reach across your body for this one. So let's start, we'll turn to the right and remember we want to move um, slowly, shift our eyes slowly. So let's reach the left hand across first. Take that right hand, set it on your chair outside of your hip and then keep your gaze lifted Slowly start to turn, find your new focal point out to your right and take a twist. And now this one's different because we're trying to rotate around the spine. So we're turning the entire torso through. I'm trying to turn my heart through and I'm drawing my right shoulder back now, rotating that left shoulder through right shoulder back. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. And we'll slowly come back to center. Let your gaze refocus. Pause at that center line. Let's take in a full round of breath here. Breathe in and out. We'll start thinking about the other side. So we're reaching the right hand across now, left hand down outside of the hip. We'll sit tall to begin, and then we'll start turning Take your gaze slowly out over the left shoulder now and see if you can let that torso rotate through, drawing the left shoulder back, bringing that right shoulder around. We stay long and tall through the spine. Think about twisting around, rotating around your spine. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Let's carefully come back to center and just place hands right over the knees again. Think long neck, tall seat. Take a deep breath in and open your mouth, let it out. So I wanna come back to a place where we started today with just finding that sensation of getting grounded into the feet because we are gonna get ready to come out of the seat soon. So I want you to think about feeling and just experiencing the four corners of your feet, okay? So imagine my hand, like your foot, okay? If this was my big toe um, and this was my heel, Okay, so we're shifting weight away from the toes. Okay, you can even peel them off the floor if you'd like to. I want you to think about distributing your weight and your connection with the floor into the top two corners of your foot and then the top two corners of your foot at that heel. Okay, so let's imagine that in the feet. Relax your toes and feel how your feet connect to the floor here, okay? So let's stand up. We're going to feel this standing next and I'm going to have you come over to a wall and you can bring your chair with you if you'd like to, okay? You don't have to. You'll have that support of the wall, but if you want a little bit, um, extra kind of security, bring it nearby, okay? So we're gonna stand close to the wall now. I want you to feel the back of your heels on that wall, okay? So you're right up against it. And feel also, feel your glutes, your seat, just barely lightly grazing that wall. And we're standing with the feet 
directly underneath the hips here. I'm going to soften my knees so my legs aren't fully locked out. And now I'm going to find a new focus point, something that's straight in front of me. I'm going to let my hands rest down to sides. Focus in on that focal point that you chose. And come back to your breath here. Bring that awareness back into your feet. How are you connecting with the floor? Are you straining your toes? Are they relaxed? Can you experience all four corners of your feet here? I want you to, when you feel good and grounded, Look at your drishti point, that focus point. And if you're comfortable with this, I want you to close your eyes. And this is why we have the chair. If you'd feel better holding onto the chair, you may. But know that you've got that wall right behind you, got that floor right beneath you. With your eyes closed, imagine seeing your focus point. Feel the four corners of each foot and come back to your breath. Deep breath in and let it out. And blink your eyes open here. Okay, so we are going to move into a couple balance postures just to try them out. And I recommend having your wall behind you for this. Again, you might want your chair nearby. And we're gonna practice taking balance to one foot. So I want you to, let's start on the right foot, okay? We're gonna come a little bit away from that wall now. Um, if you're more comfortable being up against it, you can stay there, you've got choices. But I'm gonna come a little bit away from it. I know I've got my chair. And since we're starting on the right side, I'll start taking weight away from my left foot. So just coming up onto toes here. And I'm gonna start thinking about grounding into this side before I take this foot away from the floor, maybe using that chair. What we'll do, we're gonna do a version of tree called kickstand where we actually keep the toes on the floor for now. And we're very light on that foot though, if, if any weight is on it at all. Okay. I'm keeping some bend in my standing leg. And what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna go through that same exercise of just feeling solid. If you're able to let go of that chair, I want you to go ahead and do that. Bring hands to your side. And find your drishti point, your focus point in front of you. And take a deep breath in. And let it out. Let's bring hands to the heart. So hands together. Prayer here in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. And if you'd like to, you can grow your tree, reaching arms long overhead, relax your shoulders. Think about being rooted up through your center. So we're coming back to that center support now. Take one last breath in here and let it out. Let's bring hands back to the heart and set them down to rest at the side. Let's release that leg so we're standing firmly again, both feet on the floor. I'm gonna have you walk your feet so they're together, okay? And you do wanna be a little bit away from the wall now, and by that I mean just a few inches, so 
maybe three inches away from that wall. And we're gonna practice sinking the hips back. We'll tap the wall with our glutes, with our seat, and then we'll rise to stand, okay? So feet are together now. We'll take a deep breath in, bend the knees, think about sending your hips back, and then exhale to come back up. Inhale, bend the knees, think the hips reach arms straight out from the shoulders. Exhale, rise back up. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, sink the hips, arms reach straight out in front of shoulders. Exhale, standing up. Last time here, so we're sitting back, the hips reach towards the wall. And let's stand, okay? Inhale, lift both shoulders up towards ears. Exhale, set them down. Let's take our feet back out. We're gonna go to that other side now, okay? So again, you can have your chair, you can move it if that feels more supportive to you. Um, maybe you won't even use it. We're gonna go to that left side now. So we just start shifting weight over to that left side, going through that whole um, kind of thought of um, getting grounded in that foot of following that checklist of things that we've talked about so feeling all four corners of that foot finding your drishti your focal point staying grounded in the whole leg keeping a little bend in that knee okay we'll get lighter and lighter on this right side and then let's take it to that kickstand version of tree so my heels just resting on the inside of my left ankle here keeping some bend in this standing leg so my leg isn't locked out. Let's rest both hands down at sides. And go through those thoughts of how to get grounded here. Feel all four corners of the foot. Stay connected to the center of your body so you've got that internal strength, that internal centering and foundation. Let's bring hands to the heart. And if you're feeling comfortable here, this is where we'll close the eyes this time. You can always hold on to your chair if you prefer. Take a deep breath in. As you let it out, you can open the eyes. Let's grow the tree here, taking arms long. Last breath right here. Bring hands back into the heart. And then set them down at sides. Okay guys, so we're about ready to head back to the chair. I want to do just one more thing. This is Something great that you can practice, um, maybe when you're brushing your teeth, if you've got the counter in front of you, um, make sure you give yourself a little space, but I'm gonna show it to you this way. So we'll kind of pretend like this is my counter. I'm brushing my teeth with the one hand, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is stand tall and with very little support, or as much as you need, you're just gonna practice bringing one knee forward. Allow yourself to find that stability. I want you to end in that balance. Don't end once your knee has lifted and then set it right back down. Once you've found it for even that half second, you can release it and set it back down. And then you'll go to the other side. Allow yourself the time you need to find it. You don't wanna rush these. I remember the goal. It's not the goal to lift your knee. You're, you've got that. Your goal is going to be to find that moment where you've got it. And then you're going to let it go. Go right to the other side. And I would do each side um, maybe 10 times for as long as it takes you to brush your teeth. I think 
We're supposed to brush our teeth, what, two or three minutes at a time, something like that. My toothbrush times me. I'll have to time it sometime. Set it down. Okay, guys, the last thing we're gonna do here is you can use support from your chair or your counter if you'd like. You're gonna practice that chair pose one more time. So that was with feet together. We were at the wall before. So our feet are together now. We're gonna sink the hips back. I'm sending my hips back some, so my knees are staying behind my toes. I'm not coming out here, okay? If you're feeling comfortable, reach your hands forward. We're just holding it this time. So we're gonna breathe. You can always be here. You can always be here, okay? Let's take two more breaths, deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in and let it out. Press back up to stand. All right, let's bring our chairs back around. We're gonna end here with just some quiet time and some breathing. So you can go ahead and sit a little further back in your chair this time. Scoot your hips all the way to the back of the chair. And get grounded again in your feet. We'll rest the hands on the knees. Think about that internal lift through your center. So you're lifting tall through your entire waist. Lifting your head high, tall, long neck. Just allow the shoulders to set down and back. And you should feel some support behind you from your chair this time. And I want you to just come back to your breath. And if you can, Try to shift your breathing so it's both in and out through the nose. And see if you can slow your breathing down. See if you can Lengthen each breath. just start coming back to just experiencing and being in the sensations that are in your body. I want you to again notice what is supporting you. Feel the way that your feet rest on the floor. Feel the chair underneath you and against your back. Feel the way that you support yourself from within. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it out. Let's open the eyes here. Draw hands to prayer at the heart. Thank you for sharing this gentle practice with me today. I hope that this helped to give you some foundations to um, just start building your balance practice. Namaste. Bye guys.